I had very bad skin. It ruined, not ruined, but it really affected my um, self-esteem and it was just, I had to go to the doctor for it. Hi guys, <laughs> it's been a while. So today I'm gonna talk about my skincare routine. It's not really one of the videos I usually do, but this person requested it. So I think I'm gonna do it. And also I think it might help other people because I did go through a phase where I had very bad skin it ruined not ruined but it really affected my um, self-esteem and it was just I had to go to the doctor for it and I do recommend you guys to see a professional if it is very severe but I just wanted to share my experience and what I did to kind of help me get the skin I have now I'll show you guys my skin I do have makeup on but I don't particularly cover um, blemishes like you see here I have scarring and I have some leftover scarring from my uh, breakouts and here's my forehead <laughs> um, that's attractive anyways let's get right into the skincare routine so let's start in the mornings so in the morning when i wake up i go to the restroom i wash my face and i only wash my face with straight water that's it and then i put on um aloe vera i use aloe vera and i use this one from a korean brand and it's pretty good it comes in this big bottle that looks like an aloe vera leaf it's really cute so i just put aloe vera on my face after drying it and then I put on a niacinamide serum and I use this one from The Ordinary right now because uh, my other one ran out I, I usually prefer to use the Good Molecules one and it's also pretty cheap like The Ordinary but for some reason The Ordinary one makes my skin sting a little bit so that's why I prefer the Good Molecules so I use that one um, and also put the prices down just so you guys know and I think that's very helpful if people do that in their routine videos after spreading it all over my face patting it down sometimes I don't pat it down I just spread it I spread it all over my face and then I use this moisturizer and this brand I didn't really know about it before but my boyfriend showed me and it's actually pretty good it's a very light moisturizer and it has nice cinnamide in it and it hasn't given me any acne or anything and it's also pretty cheap <laughs> that's a common theme here <laughs> i don't like spending too much money on skincare because i know a lot of those expensive stuff is just um a lot of mm, how do you say it's just very gimmicky and skincare routines should be very um straightforward and it should it should be specific to your skin type and your skin issues and then I make sure to always put on a sunscreen after. So the type of sunscreen I use, this one is from Cos RX. And I got it a while ago, but it's really good. It has aloe vera in it. And I use that when I'm not going out. I'm just staying home all day. But when I'm going out, I like to use a tinted sunscreen. And this one by Australian Botanicals, I think it's called. It was recommended by Dr. Dre on YouTube, the dermatologist. And I tried it and it's really nice. Just make sure to get your color. And it's also pretty mattifying, so I would use more moisturizer underneath just to make sure it doesn't look too dry. That's pretty much it for my skincare routine in the morning. If I'm wearing makeup that day, I will put it over that. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it for the mornings. <laughs> So at night, it's pretty pretty similar to the mornings, but just a few changes. So at night, I first do a double cleanse. I use the Juno Skin Cleansing Balm, and I got this off of Amazon, and it's pretty good. I really recommend double cleansing if you guys haven't tried it. It's really um, It really makes sure that you take out all the makeup, all the gunk that's been on your face all day. All day. Especially for girls who wear a lot of, not a lot of, but just any kind of makeup, especially like 
you know, eyeliner is pretty hard to take off, brows, and it's just good to make sure that all that stuff is off so, so you're not sleeping with it. <laughs> Rinse that off, and then I use this Aveeno or Aven, the French brand, and it's I use their um, gel cleanser. And this one's pretty good. I've been using it for like maybe two years, but I go on and off it depending on its availability to me. After cleansing, I again like to use the chemical <laughs> the aloe vera gel. So I put that all over my face again. Then I put on the niacinamide serum, just like in the mornings. I put it on and then I use the same moisturizer as well. So basically everything's the same except for the cleansing part and then the star <laughs> and then the star of the show for me that really helped me with my acne is Differin. Differin gel, you guys. I I love I love Differin gel. <laughs> it's quite um it's a bit hard. It's a dapoline. So basically let me ask ChatGPT. It's loading, you guys. So Differin is a brand name for a medication called dapoline, which is a type of retinoid. Adapalene is used to treat acne by helping to unclog pores and reduce inflammation. It works by normalizing the growth of skin cells and reducing the formation of acne lesions. It's available in several forms, including a gel, cream, and lotion, and it's typically applied topically to the skin once per day in the evening. And it may take several weeks of regular use before you see significant improvements in your acne. And Differin is available by prescription in some countries, while in others it may be available over the counter. It is important to use Differin as directed by your healthcare provider or as indicated on the label, as overuse or misuse can lead to skin irritation and other side effects. So that's basically what I've been using for my skin and what really helped me with my acne. And I would just say to follow the instructions, uh, use a pea-sized amount. Always just use a pea-sized amount and start slow and low. So start maybe twice a week and then go up to three times a week, up to four times a week to five times a week. Make sure to um, do it gradually so that you're not shocking your skin and just getting a really bad different um, breakout like a purge phase that's how I avoided the purge phase and I also put it over my moisturizer so after the moisturizer step I put on the different and I put just a tiny pea size amount and I put it all over my face like this and then spread it and also another thing to mention if you are using different is to always 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 use sunscreen because it does make your skin more sensitive to the sunlight and more sensitive to just the uv rays so make sure to always wear sunscreen and and also wear hats i like to use chemical barriers and also physical barriers like a hat a umbrella or even just um anything that i have in my hand i even use my phone like this to make sure that i'm not getting any sun on my face so that's pretty much it and also i heard that different helps with anti-aging because it is a retinoid so i think that's something that i will always be on if not that then i will probably move up a step to tretinoin which i heard is even better for anti-aging for glowy skin but yeah and make sure to put vaseline in this area underneath the eyes and on the thin skin around your face so just here, here, and here. And that protects it from the strong ingredient, the differin. So let me know if you guys try this routine or if it helped you at all. That's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.